Edward Tulane by Kate DiCamillo. For this book, it makes more sense to infuse the descriptions of the characters into the plot. Edward Tulane is the primary character. He is a china rabbit, very elegant and deeply conceited. In the beginning of the book, he loves absolutely no one, despite being loved very, very deeply by his first owner, Abilene. Abilene is a young girl. She loves Edward fiercely. She takes Edward everywhere she goes. She makes sure that he's well-dressed, that he has his pocket watch, that it's wound, and that he has a seat at the dinner table. Pellegrina is Abilene's grandmother. She knows that Edward cares about no one but himself. So one night she tells Abilene and Edward a bedtime story about a princess. The princess was very beautiful, but she loved no one. When a prince asked her to marry him, she took the gold ring and swallowed it and then ran away. She finds a witch and demands the witch help her, but the witch ended up turning her into a warthog. The king's man shot the warthog, and that's the end of the story. Abilene hates the ending. She wants a happily ever after. Pellegrina tells her that there can be no happily ever after if you do not love. She then whispers to Edward, I am disappointed in you. Edward is annoyed with Pellegrina and her story, but he sees absolutely no connection between him and the princess. The rest of the story is a series of getting lost for a while, getting a new owner, getting lost, and then getting a new owner. Edward finally learns to love and to love deeply, but everyone he loves he loses. He begins to lose hope by the end of a story, but a wise old doll makes him realize your heart must always be open. Here's a quick description of the other owners, Nellie and Lawrence. Lawrence is an old fisherman and Nellie is his wife. They are sweet, simple people who love Edward deeply, and they're the first people Edward ever loves. Bull and Lucy. Bull is a vagabond and Lucy is his dog. They both love him deeply and Edward loves them right back. Bryce and Sarah Ruth. Bryce is Sarah Ruth's older brother. Bryce loves her fiercely. He is her older brother and basically her dad. Their dad is a drunk who rarely comes home, and when he does, he breaks things and yells. Sarah Ruth is very, very sick. Edward becomes Sarah Ruth's rabbit. Eventually, Sarah Ruth passes, and Edward has never known such pain in all his life. Then there's the toy shop. Edward ends up here at the end of the story, and after many, many years, a little girl selects him and loves him again. The bottom lines are characters in depth and theme. Students continue to work on vocabulary and context and non-literal language, but again, now they're doing this completely independently. When they come to the table, they should hand their written responses to you. As you review them, they should be talking about their vocabulary and context and their non-literal language work. From here, I suggest that you go into the lesson plan, be sure to read all the focus questions and the exemplar responses, and after that, you'll be all set to teach this book.